Do you know what is microbiology? If no, keep watching. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Medzohar. Today we are going to talk about microbiology. Let's get into it. But before starting the lecture, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Have a cup of tea and let's get started. Microbiology. It has got three words in it. Number one, micro, which means small. Number two, bio, which means life. And and number three is the logi, which means to study. If we combine all these three words, we'll get small life study. Small life means the tiny organisms, the microorganisms. So microbiology means the study of microorganisms or microbes. What is medical microbiology? Because we're concerned with it there. Medical microbiology is the study of medically important microbes. Lecture outline. I've introduced you guys to the microbiology. Now you might be wondering what actually are the microbes. So we'll talk about them. Then the classification of microbes, types of microbiology, hierarchy of classification and taxonomy. Microbes. These are small organisms that are visible only under microscopes. Um, that's why they're called microbes. Micro is for small and micro is in microbe and in microscope both. That's why. And they are metabolic wizards, right? And you know what, guys? Microbes invented photosynthesis. Classification of microbes. Uh, we've got four of them there. Number one is bacteria, which is further classified on the base of stain. It is stained with gram stain, so it is uh, classified as positive gram stained or negative gram stained with purple or pink color. Then we've got fungi. They are divided on the basis of their cells, like, like multicellular or molds and unicellular or yeasts. And then we've got viruses. They are further classified on the basis of genome, like single-stranded, SS is for that, and DS for double-stranded. Like on the basis of genome, they are classified as single-stranded or double-stranded DNA viruses, or maybe single-stranded or double-stranded RNA viruses. Then we've got parasites, which are further classified as protozoa and metazoa, which are also called as helminths, the worms. I have a complete video series on parasitology. Its link is in the description and in the top right corner. So watch that out. I hope it will help you. Okay, now we know what is microbiology, what are microbes, and how many types of microbes are there. So now we can classify microbiology. If you are going to study bacteria in detail, this is going to be the bacteriology. For fungi, it is going to be mycology. For viruses, it is going to be virology. And for parasites, it is going to be the parasitology. Hierarchy of classification. Um, we've got domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Um, if we'll discuss them in detail, it will take a lot of time, and this video will become uh, way longer than I think it, it is. Um, uh, for remembering the hierarchy, I've got this mnemonic that is Dina's kids prefer candy over fried green spinach. If you remember this mnemonic, you're going to remember this hierarchy of classification, I hope. We will talk about the taxonomy. The first name of every microorganism is going to be its genus name. And the second one is going to be its species name. For example, if we consider this bacteria, the Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus is genus and aureus is species. And the name of the organism indicates its shape. For, uh, let's consider this organism again, the Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylo means bunch of grapes, coccus means round cells, and aureus means golden. So it is a circular bunch of bacteria that are colored gold. Thanks for being with me. I hope you enjoyed it. You've learned something. If you really did, give this video a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Till next time, assalamu alaikum.